It's so crazy that all of this stuff, anytime I've reached a new place in life, anytime I've been able to excel, anytime I've been able to gain clarity, better perspective, it came through and from some form of adversity, some form of trauma for me. And it's like, it's such a weird thing to, once you understand that and know the problems are going to come, the problems are going to happen, the issues are going to be a part of the journey. You're not going to gain any sort of growth without the issues. And it's like, the sooner you can accept that, hey, a breeze in the park is going to get you nowhere. We'll just use, we're in the gym, we'll just use trading, for example. The, the sooner that you realize, look, it's going to suck. The sooner you realize you're not going to want to do it, but you're going to have to get up and do it like you love it and get up and embrace it and do it at 100% level every time, the sooner you're going to see your progress. The gym is one of those things with jujitsu. You're not going to see the growth. You're not going to see the progress for a while. I'll use jujitsu because yesterday we had a crazy class. It was like three hours. And by the end of it, we were just all destroyed, but we felt so great. Jujitsu is one of those things when you're a white belt, you are going, you're not going to see, you're going to feel like you know absolutely nothing for a while. Then slowly but surely that eight months, nine months, it starts to make a little bit more sense. Everybody's different, but it's one of those things where you're not going to see, if you want to see quick growth and you want to see, you know, quick gratification, jujitsu isn't for you. The gym is the same thing. You're lifting, you're working out, you're ha eating the macros. You're not seeing any results. That's why a lot of times I just stay covered up because I'm my, my own worst critic. I'm my own worst critic where I'm just like that. It's just, even I know this, it's not happening. It's not working, but you're just adding deposits. You're just adding to the account. And that's with everything, your finances, you know, like it's going to suck. We all, I was broke living in, in a car, you know, live, had an apartment that had no lights, all of that. And it's like, okay, I had to make some brutal sacrifices to get out of that hole when that hole seemed like it was never going to come. That's why I'm always a firm believer about, look, I don't waste time. I, I, I don't want to wait. Let's go. I just need to see two steps ahead. Let's get started. I don't want to wait because I remember when I waited too many times. I remember when I waited and thinking, okay, the magical answer is going to come out of nowhere. No, I had to create. I had to create opportunities and continue to do so. That's why I don't wait. I don't like to wait for things. I don't like to wait for, for people. Um, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, I'll make the lane. I'll create the opportunity. Even with this channel that we're trying to grow, it's something that I wanted to create a lane for, for someone who's out there who can relate and connect with the information that I'm providing. I'm not using or trying to use a blueprint based on what someone else did and it worked because that's their own journey. I'm creating something that's based on my journey, my experiences, and where we can go from here and showing it to you. It's almost just like a, a documentary or my journal and letting and hoping you guys will be a part of it.